Hey there, Leo, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your mid-month reading. This is going to be a reading for October 14th through the 31st, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Leo, if this reading resonates and you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. Just send me an email. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and want to say thank you and show your appreciation, donations are always greatly appreciated. The link to donate is down below in the description box and any and every amount is truly, truly appreciated. Okay, let's see what is going on. What is the shadow right here? There we go. Okay, that was my mic. All right, Leo, main energy for this reading is the Ace of Cups. Sorry, it's the Knight of Cups. You get the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Love is definitely on your mind here. You want a new beginning in love. You want to come in and offer your cup of love to somebody and receive love from somebody. And I can definitely see um, that this has been on your mind heavily this month, both in this reading um, and then also in your monthly reading. So if you haven't seen that, go take a look. It's the video right before this one. In the recent past, you get the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Moon. You really want to take action here. You go from the Knight to the Queen. Logically, you feel like you want to take action. You know what you want to say. You know how you want to approach this, but you're showing me there's a lot of unknowns here. There's a lot of unknowns about how this person's going to respond, how this person's going to reciprocate this energy. Should I take action? Should I not? Um, you're really showing me like in my head, I've played it all out. I've laid this all out. I know exactly how this is going to go in your head. Here in the 3D world, realistically, you're like, eh, I don't know, right? It's a big, big question mark. In the current situation, you get the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Empress. You're trying to emotionally detach and disconnect from your person, right? You're showing me, like, the more I think about them, the more I focus on them, the more my energy is focused on them and how much I want them and how much they mean to me and how important they are to me, the more pain I feel, the more stressed I am. And so your way of dealing with that is essentially just emotionally detaching or at least attempting to emotionally disconnect here um, in this current situation to kind of give yourself some peace of mind and not really stress out as much and not spend so much time up in your head um, when it comes to this person. In the near future, you get the Six of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Two of Wands. Deep down, right, you and this person are still very much connected. The tie has not been severed. And you're showing me, despite the fact that in the 3D world, we are in physical separation, so I don't feel like you guys are together, or at least not in close proximity physically to each other, like in the same location, same city, same house, etc. Deep down, you're still very much connected to them, and you know that you're going to restore this equal give and take of energy. You know that you and your person are going to get back to this place of giving energy, receiving energy with each other. This is not done as far as you're concerned. Um, and I do still feel like energetically, even though here in the 3D world you may not be communicating, energetically you are both still very much communicating with each other. Um, but I feel like there are, you're in separation here in the 3D world. You guys are not with each other. So let's start clarifying. Let's take a look at the Knight of Cups, which is the main energy for your reading this month. Knight of Wands is clear, sorry, Knight of Cups is clarified by the King of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, which you get in again in the near future, and the Hanged Man. This is you. I don't assign gender to my cards. You're showing me that you want to offer your love to this person. And not only do you want to offer them love, you want to receive it back. You're not just showing me like, hey, I just want to give them all my love, express all my feelings, and I don't care if they reciprocate it. You do. You want them to express it back. You want love from them just as much as you're giving, you want to receive. But you're showing me the energies are stuck. I have this beautiful desire. I have this beautiful energy. I want to make this happen. The energies are stuck. They're not moving. Something's not happening. Something's not shifting. Um, and so it's like the energies are blocked from getting to this place of equal give and take emotionally. Let's see why. Let's clarify the recent past. I'll start off by clarifying the Knight of Swords in the recent past. The Knight of Swords is clarified by the High Priestess, the Hermit, which you get again in the near future, and the Justice. You just want to restore divine balance here. On a higher self level, right, you're showing me like, look, my goal, my mission, yes, I want love, but I'm not even focused on that. Like in the recent past, you'll just focus, your main focus was just on restoring divine balance between the two of you whether that means just being friends, whether that means communicating. And this is you, the sun, right? 
whether that means whatever that means to each of you you're like i just want us to both be balance energetically emotionally on a higher self level this is a very beautiful goal because you're essentially showing me like i'm willing to do or was because this is the recent past i was willing to do anything necessary to restore this balance to set things right between us to fix things between us right but again i don't feel like you actually took action let's see let's clarify the queen of swords in the recent past for you Queen of Swords is clarified by the world, the Two of Wands, which you get again in the near future, and the Sun. I will say this, Leo, it seems like all your recent past energies are showing up again in the near future. And so whatever happened in the past seems to get some resolution in the near future. We'll get to this in a minute. And you're showing me like, look, I do want to take action. I do want to restore balance here. I do want to fix things. But logically, right? If I look at the situation logically, the Ace of Swords, from an analytical place, and I take my emotions out of this, this is over. This is done, right? Like we said what we needed to say. This person said they're done. I said I'm done. We're like, we said this is over. And so even though I had this desire to really fix this and really restore divine balance, again, logically, I know we're done. So it's kind of like, well, what am I supposed to do? I still have this desire to fix things, but then we also set our peace and, you know, I know in my head that things are done. So that's why the energy seemed to be stuck because you have this like logical knowing, right? I know that, that we're done. We said we're done, blah, blah, blah. And then you have this emotion, this higher self, which is like, no, but we can fix things. We can heal things. We can still move forward here. Let's clarify the moon in the recent past for you. Moon is clarified by the Two of Cups, Page of Cups, Seven of Cups. All you want is this relationship. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn. All you want is love. You're, you're showing me like, I just want to come in. I want to receive an apology from them. And I just want to move forward. That's all I want. I want this connection. I want this relationship. I just want love. Like crack your heart open for me just a little bit here. And you're showing me maybe there's something I can do here. Maybe I can apologize. Maybe I can come forward. But you were very overwhelmed emotionally. So I understand why you're going to the logical place. Because once you get into the emotional space, right, all the feelings of how much you care for this person and how much you love them and how important they are to you kind of flood the, the whole, they flood your energies and it becomes overwhelming and confusing for you to kind of be able to think and, and work through what you want to do, what you should do, what feels aligned for you to do, etc. So let's take a look at the current situation, see what's going on. I want to see the Eight of Cups in the current situation. Eight of Cups is clarified by the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Yes, you want to restore balance between you and this person. Yes, you want to fix this foundation. You want to rebuild here. But at the end of the day, you're like, I don't know what's going to happen, right? I don't know where this person's at. I don't know what they want. So it's just easier for me to emotionally detach right? And while I'm emotionally detaching and I'm emotionally disconnecting, I just focus on myself. I kind of do my own thing. I focus on myself. I'm not really investing a lot of energy in fixing this or rebuilding this connection or rebuilding this foundation because it just stresses you out too much. It becomes too overwhelming. Like once you even dip your toe in this energy of, okay, maybe we can fix this. Maybe we can move forward. Maybe we can do something. It just becomes a whole jumbled mess emotionally for you. And you're like, I can't go there. I really just can't go there. So you're taking the time in the current situation to focus on yourself and prioritize your needs and your desires and just balance out your own internal energy. Let's clarify the nine of swords in the current situation. Nine of swords is clarified by the magician, the ten of wands and the queen of wands. It's difficult for you, right? You can pretend you're emotionally detached. You can pretend you're emotionally disconnected all you want. But at the end of the, of the day, you are still thinking about this person. You are still spending a lot of time energetically focusing on them. Um, and it hurts. It sucks, right? Because you do want them. You do want to fix things with them. But again, you're, you're, there's a lot of unknowns and it's very overwhelming for you. 
and you're showing me it's just difficult it's just difficult for me and so it's easier to kind of play pretend a little bit in the current situation and pretend like this doesn't bother you pretend like this doesn't face you pretend like it's not stressing you out pretend like you're detached pretend like you're not thinking of this person because you're kind of like distracting yourself which seems to honestly be working right this is kind of like a fake it till you make it energy of like i fake it like i don't care and then you actually seem to kind of, not that you don't care, but it's more so like you're able to detach emotionally a little bit. Let's take a look at the Empress in the current situation. The Empress is clarified by the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. It seems like your person is actually reaching out. It seems like your person, because showing up with the lovers, your person is the one that's reaching out and asking for a new beginning here. Um, even if you're reaching out, it doesn't matter. Something's happening in the current situation. Some action is being taken. And I do see you immediately once this action is taken, whether you reach out, they reach out to have this new beginning because you get the Ace of Pentacles, you immediately go up in your head and you start thinking, 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 thinking. It's like thinking nonstop. It's a lot of overanalyzing, a lot of thinking here. Um, you are kind of stressing out a little bit in the current situation because you know there is movement things aren't stuck anymore but movement can also mean that you know you guys it's positive because you hear from them but it also stresses you out because you hear from them and now all these unknowns are becoming real you're like okay well what if they say this what if i say that what if it doesn't go well da, 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 right so there is a little bit of stress for you in the current situation but something is happening something is moving in the current situation let's take a look at the near future see what the six of pentacles is for you in the near future six of pentacles is clarified by the knight of cups the nine of pentacles and the six of swords so there is this equal exchange of energy right you and your person are interacting you're talking you're communicating they're offering you emotion right you're offering them emotion but you're also showing me like i'm keeping an emotional distance i am focused on myself here because again whatever happened between the two of you wasn't the best energy whatever this person did however they handled things it kind of sucked for you and i do feel like you know either you walked away they walked away somebody walked away here and the walking away right kind of showed you hey i need to prioritize myself i need to focus on myself and my energies so i do see the ball I do see the ball starting to like roll and move and like things are happening the way you wanted them to in the near future, but you've kind of taken a bit of a turn and you're like, well, I need to really focus on myself. I can't just be 100% about this connection. Let's take a look at the hermit and see what that's about for you in the near future. Hermit is clarified by the Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Deep down, you know this is a soul connection. You know this is a divine connection. And the fact that things are moving, things are happening, the ball is rolling, it makes you truly happy. The Ten of Cups is one of the happiest cards in the entire tarot deck. But you're moving very, very slowly here because you don't really trust this person. You don't, and, and I'm not saying like, oh, they cheated on you and that's why you don't trust them. Things happen right? There was water under the bridge. You guys separated. You stopped talking. Something happened in the past, which was not so great. And now that they're back and they're giving you what you want emotionally, that's cool. That's awesome. But you still don't trust them very much. It's something, it's almost an energy of like, they need to earn that trust. And until they do, even though you know, this is a soul connection, you're still moving slow. You're taking your time. You're not really rushing into things too much. Let's take a look at the two of wands in the near future. Two of Wands is clarified by the Temperance, the Nine of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. I know you're confused, okay? Just give it some time. That emotional stability, that emotional balance that you're looking for, um, it's coming. Just be patient with yourself. Divine timing is at play here in the near future, and you may feel a bit of an energy of like, okay, well, why am I not over this yet? Why am I still feeling all these difficult feelings, even though this person is back? That's fine. Just be patient with yourself. You'll get to this place of emotional stability, which I can see you really want to be at. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind from now until the end of October. From the universe, you get the Nine of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Sun. This is you, and this is that emotional stability we were talking about. You're questioning whether or not you'll ever get there. You're like, look, I was stressed out because this person wasn't making any moves. Things weren't happening. Things weren't moving. Now things are moving. They're back. Things are happening. Things are shifting. And I'm still not feeling emotionally balanced. I'm still not feeling emotionally stable. 
am I ever going to get there? There's a little bit of doubt for you here, but have no fear, Leo, you will. It's just divine timing is at play here. So Leo, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Donation link is below in the description box and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Thank you so, so much for tuning in, Leo, and I'll see you here on the next one.